traveling to Italy in February 2022. These are the current restrictions, guys. Okay, so the new rules came into effect this past February 1st. All right, so there's two parts for this video. The first section, we're going to talk to you about what do you need to enter the country. And the second part of this video is what are the rules and restrictions once you are inside Italy and what can you do as a tourist? Are you vaccinated and have received the booster? Or are you vaccinated without the booster? Or have you recovered from COVID and you have a COVID certificate? Or are you simply not vaccinated? If you are vaccinated and have had a booster shot, you are good to go. You can enter Italy and all you have to do is just show your proof of vaccination and booster shot. Now you still have to take a COVID test. And there's two of them, either the PCR 72 hour test uh, or the rapid antigen test taken in the within the 24 hours. Now, between these two tests, I recommend you take the 72 hour uh, COVID test. And the reason is because uh, let's say you're traveling from America, but you have a connection in the UK and uh, suddenly there's a delay while you're in your, the UK and you have to stay there for like 30 hours. Then by the time you get to Italy, uh, the 24 hour test is invalid and you need to take it again. So I recommend take the 72 hour uh, COVID test before you arrive to Italy. This way, you know, you have plenty of time. All right. So let's say you've been vaccinated, but you do not uh, get the booster shot. You can still enter Italy, but it depends when did you get your second shot. So if you got your second shot within the past six months, then you can still enter Italy uh, with no problems. You still have to take the test, uh, the COVID test before you arrive, either the 24 hour one or the 72 hour one. If you have taken the vaccine more than a year ago, then you, you, you're you going to have to, you can still enter Italy, but you're going to have to self isolate for five days. Oh! Now, arrivals who have who are unvaccinated but have recovered from COVID, you need to present a COVID certificate from your doctor less than 180 days old. In this case, you may enter Italy, but make sure that you get all the doctor letters that say you've been recovered. Uh, in any of these cases, just remember, you still have to take a COVID negative test, either the 24 hour or the 72 hour. And the last one is, those who are unvaccinated for any reason, uh, you're not vaccinated, but you still want to go to Italy. When you arrive, you're going to have to self-isolate and you still have to present a negative COVID test in order to enter. And after the five days of isolation, you have to present to the authorities another COVID test that shows that you're negative. This is the only way if you're unvaccinated and want to enter the country. Okay, another form you need to have, uh, regardless of your COVID situation, is the passenger locator form. Everyone has to fill out this form. Here's the link, and I'm going to put it on the description as well. The passenger locator form, the PLFS, are used by the public health authorities to facilitate contact tracing in case travelers are exposed to an infection disease during their travel by plane, ship, cruise, rail, bus, or automobile. All the descriptions uh, and everything I've been talking to you about this video, please look at the description. I have a bunch of links of helpful websites and telephone numbers. So besides the requirements to enter the country, there are new rules inside Italy itself, and I wanted to talk to you about those. The green COVID certificate or recovery certificate is now mandatory in order to enter most places. Bus, trains, metro, or any public transportation in Italy museums, exhibitions. Are you going to go skiing? Well, you're going to need also the certificate in order to board the cable car. In restaurants as well, even if you're going to be sitting outside, you still need to show your COVID certificate. As of January 10th, it is also mandatory in hotel stays. Masks? When visiting museums or using public transportation, no more, no more of those uh, masks made by your grandmother. You will need to wear the FFP2 type, which is the equivalent to the N95 or the N99 masks in the United States. Now, this is not all the places, just certain museums and other public areas. Now, regardless of all these restrictions that I hope go away soon, please make sure to book your visit in advance. Anywhere you go, whether, whether it's a museum, uh, exhibition and especially trains go online and make you make sure you read the rules and get your tickets 
Some venues are not accepting same-day reservations, so please plan ahead and avoid disappointment. One thing that COVID has changed for the better uh, is how easy it is to book now everything online. That's all the updates I have right now. Again, this is uh, the rules and restrictions as of now, February 2022. There are going to be changes in March, I hope for the better. One of the things they're talking about right now is to get away, get rid of these masks in uh, exhibitions and open markets. Um, that would be great. What we see in the tourism industry are very good things coming up. We hope that the restrictions are gonna be loosened a lot more. Uh, but check back in March. Uh, we're gonna be updates. We're gonna be doing more videos about whatever comes, whatever new rules <laughs> they're gonna come up with. I know it's gonna be March 15th when the government again is gonna go and tell us what's going on. And if you have any questions, guys, again, please uh, put it in the comment below and please click follow uh, and subscribe because that helps us in our channel. Have a blessed day. Ciao a tutti, ci vediamo in Italia.